how we self-sabotage our biochemistry. Our healthy automatic responses restore our biochemistry, which is very important. Anything that interrupts that natural flow and does not allow it to restore is very challenging for the body. Find out more in this short video. So it seems like as humans compared to animals, what we have that they don't have is self-awareness. And I always have thought that self-awareness is a very good thing to have. Mm -hmm. And of course it is. But also what you what you're saying is that it, it also can be very destructive. Well, right? I, what I what I think has happened is I think that we have these automatic processes um, which are very healthy and restore the body to health, restore our biochemistry. It's very important to restore the body from temporary changes. It's like if you know if you go on a treadmill, um, your heartbeat will go up. And when you stop running, your heartbeat will come down. And it's really important that it comes down because otherwise the next time you go on a treadmill, it's going to go up further and further and further. And it's like anything, it's like body temperature during the day, it goes up and down. But it always comes to a midpoint, which is um, where you're supposed to settle. Now, you can imagine anything which interrupts that natural return, that natural flow back to where you started is going to be challenging for the biochemistry of the body. And when we look at the response of mammals to threat, they have a very, uh, a very specific way that the system goes up and down, sometimes with a break in the middle for being kind of frozen, if you like. But what goes up always comes down. And so they restore and their bodies restore. And this is where um, when you're not, when, when a mammal's not being chased by a lion is when it does its healing when you know all the biochemical processes of healing happen and it's sometimes called rest and digest you know they can literally rest and eat and snuggle and sleep and, and those are the good things in life um if you don't get back to that point how are you going to rest and digest and if you you know just think about it on that basic level how many humans do we know have problems with sleeping and digestion it's almost like it's getting worse and worse and worse in yeah. our society and yet, ironically, our society, if you think about kind of you know, first world modern Britain, never been a safer place on planet Earth for any mammal ever to live. I mean, the, the threat to life for you and me right now is lower than it has ever been for any mammal ever in the history of this planet. And yet, you know, this is an epidemic of what we think of as mental health problems. But it's really, I think, the inability to get back to where the nervous system would healthily be because we interrupt it with our self-awareness. If we weren't self-aware, it would just happen. And actually, part of the treatment is to, I mean, it, what we're doing right now, which is psychoeducation, which allows people to be less freaked out by the treatment. It's also just guiding people through um, allowing their bodies to do what their bodies need to do. And it, it's, it's like you're putting the bandwidth back on the mammal brain and taking it away from the human brain. And what you discover is that we all innately have this system running in us all the time. We can do it. It's no problem. There's nothing that can stop us doing it other than ourselves.